Hello everyone, As many people have been asking me what is the meaning of a uh, urban army and urban oroke and what is the meaning of a uh, boba and why are this always saying urban army, urban army? Let me just quickly explain for you people. Uh, oh, a boba, you know the meaning of a boba? A boba means a deity that come with the king. As, as God has given we the Bini people a king, he also gives us Ebo. Ebo are the deities that we're supposed to worship with the king. As we worship Oba, like as we worship Oba Ewai, we praise Oba Ewai as our king, we're supposed to worship Ebo Ba with him. So if you do your Olokun, the bath your Olokun bath or Shango or Ogun or Eziza, or other juju and you now eat a name related to a boba it means you are aware that we be praying to the king whenever king is doing festival you're supposed to go to palace you owe your aza you will need that in the front of the king you will be shaking that aza praying to king saying oba talk bear you'll be praising the king the greatest king that have ever lived. Oba no soba, okute tebi tene guogo, oba na yayo, inava no seva, all those sweet names, you'll be using it to praise the king, no you tete no we So there are some ovan that you will eat. If you eat that ovan, you will know that you are a servant to Oba no Roke. And you will know that you are born to serve Oba Name and to serve Oba no Roke. So, not that you are a slave, your body is being used to serve the king. So, for instance, if you eat a woman, one is a neck, a woman is a vecine, a woman, not a corner, a miller, a mag bogo, or a OBM, a menenok bogi, or banami, a baron, a mag bogo, all those names are the names that are related to Akbar what they are the name related to a Boba. So you have to worship Oba with that your Olokun. So you cannot just say you have a Boba in Olokun and you don't want to worship the king. It's not good. If you have that Olokun in Bini or anywhere, always try to praise the king with it. Because Oba nor okay with Oba Name, they are brothers. They are brothers. It is a being beneath. A king was ordained heaven. A king was ordained heaven. Our king is from heaven. It was God that crowned our king to give us. That's why the Bini people used to say, All bow salobo and no giver. Because we Bini, we take and see our king like the our second God and we respect it. It's our belief. We don't joke it, joke with it. And it's so beautiful like that. We love it. Our king, our king in Benin is the second God that we serve. Uh -huh. Many people will say, no, I'm serving Jesus. So for me, our Oba is the second with God. When we finish thanking God, we must thank our king because he's our second God. That's why Benin people say, Oba is the brother The Oba Name is the brother of our king. That's why we supposed to also serve Obanami. Because Obanami is the deity that we cry to. In the water, is the spiritual king. He owns the ocean. That's why we used to say Obanami, not Senoroke. Obanami is brother to Obanoroke. That's why our Oba, before entry the throne, he always go and see Obanami, his brother. Then after offering sacrifice, cow and many things to Obanami, Obaname will now protect him and do all necessary things together with him into the throne. That's why when you see the king, you see him with Ododo and the red beard and everything. He has that power. He has that akase. That, 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 that zeal as the king. He is the one that controls all the Benin land and all the whole universe, all the whole world. Many people will say, oh, kiss the what do you say? <laughs> Your king is in charge of the whole world. Yes, because our king was not ordained here on earth. He was ordained in heaven. So as you, as a Benin man, that have a boba, you're supposed to use that a boba to serve the king. You understand? 
So when you have an eboba, you're supposed to use it to serve the king because you are big bone to use a boba to serve the king. And you must always darn a oba like oba I talk me say oba I talk me say you must always do it. And when you finish serving your olokun and all your juju, you say after praying, doing all the necessary right, you will not say oba I talk me say. That's why anywhere we be need go, we must say oba I talk me. Even though we pray coconut, we drink and can we put it on the floor? We pray, we will say oba I talk me say. So from now on, you people now know the difference between Obaname and Obanoroki. They are brothers. It our king was born from heaven. Also, Obaname, the Juju we are serving, the Olokun we are serving in Bini, was ordained from heaven. So that's why you see that we are unique and we are special. Hope I've succeeded in answering you people. So as a Bini man is a Bini woman. Ask your Iyebo and say, this is my Olokun, is he a Boba I came from? If he's a Boba, so you will not know that you are born to use your Olokun to worship the king. So, Oba Atokbe, he say, I love you all. I just try my best to answer this question because this question was so big. I don't really know how to answer it, but I know I tried. If I am not correct, you guys can still call me and correct me because I just tried because the question was confused. The person just come here and say, Kisti, what is a boba? People are saying a boba, a boba, and people are saying a boba. They don't really know what is the meaning of a boba, and uh, they, are, they still ask me what is the meaning of Obaname. And uh, that's why I just told you that Obaname is in the river, all the other Oba is Obanoroke. They are created by God and God sent them to become king in the earth. So we're supposed to worship Oba Noroke and Oba Name. And so also worship Oba Son. Before I forget, you must always worship Oba Son too. Oba Son, Oba Son is also important. Oba Name, Oba Noroke, Keko Bason, and Enikao and other ancestors. So I love you. Stay blessed. I love you. Bye.